Shalom, Shalom, Pastor Corey here with Straightway uh, Ministries here in Straightway, Kansas City. We're just talking about uh, seeing, and we're going to look at a little bit of the Hebrew alphabet. We're going to look a little bit in the uh, the uh, Hebrew lexicon of the Bible on uh, a few certain things. And so uh, here it is. We, you know, we, we were talking about, you know, looking at, you know, how... Abraham, you know, how he came and prayed for certain things. <clears throat> and so we're talking about seeing when your way be made straight when your vision is not blurred. Do y'all hear that? Yes, so this is what this way is about. If you can't see that Yah is your Elohim, if he is your heavenly father, if you can't see that he has given you a way not to sin and not to be like all the other nations. If you can't see that his ways are wondrous, then you're going to miss it. You got it? You are going to miss it. This way is about seeing. Even Jesus when he came. All right. So I asked the girls just a second ago. All right. The more watch out, Jesus. You sit over there. The more you're gonna come sit right here. You're gonna read when I tell you. Sit right there. Sit right here. You ain't gonna be on camera. Just sit right there so you can be heard. All right. So I'm gonna read something here out of the book of Jubilees. And this is in chapter 12. I'm going to start at verse 16. All right, and I'm going to stop at verse 22. All right, this is in the book of Jubilees. All right, so it says, and in the sixth week, in the fifth year thereof, Abram sat up throughout the night on the new moon of the seventh month. You hear this? To observe the stars from evening to the morning in order to see what would be the character of the year with regards to rains. And he was alone. And he sat and observed. Y'all hear that? So what did you notice about that? He was alone. He was alone. What else did you notice? He observed, right? He was up running around. He sat. So I mean, he sat still. So here's all the things that, so I'm just showing you something. Here's all the things that you got to keep in mind when you inquire of Yah. So I just had something that I inquired of Yah about, which was the division of days. Yah told Moshe that his children would, would forget the division of days with respect to these things, which was going to cause them to observe Unholy days is going to cause them to be thrown off with respect in where they do things in the season which he required them to do it. There are appointed times. Okay? So I said, I'm going to inquire of Yah on this. So, first of all, see, it's like this. I'm telling you, you're getting old enough, the more. So it's like, what? Can I do 
if I want to know something from Yah. Well, what did Abraham do? What are some of the things he did? He sat. He sat. Observed. Yeah, so that and he had in his mind what he wanted to know concerning Yah. So what you were doing was concerning the things that Yah do, right? But if you don't know that he do wondrous works, you're not going to inquire that. That's why the nations do not inquire. Does this make sense? All right. And look what happened. And a word. Y'all hear it? You see, he sat and inquired and observed, right? And then what happened? And a word came into his heart and he said, all the signs of the stars and the signs of the moon and of the sun are all in the hand of Yahweh. Why do you search them out? You hear this? It said those are all in the hands of who? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? If he desireth, he causeth it to rain morning and evening. And if he desireth, he withholdeth it and all things are in his hand. And he prayed that night and said, now, so what is Abraham doing? What is Abram doing right now? Petition. Some, right, because something came to you. Right? right. See, I'm showing you because we miss our walk. We miss it. You know what I mean? You want to skip right to going through the gates. We miss it. He prayed that night and said, My Yah, Yahweh, Elohim, Most High, Thou alone art my Yah. And thee and thy dominion have I chosen. You hear this? I, cho I choose you and I choose your dominion, your reign. You rule it over everything, myself and all that is within this earth, all that's in the heavens and all that's in the waters beneath the earth, under the earth, right? And thou has created all things. Why do you think he's saying this to y'all? Because he's putting y'all in remembrance, mm -hmm. right? And he letting y'all know that he knows that this is you. This is what I like saying. I like being in submission. I'm, I'm going to show you something in a minute with the board ready to read. Because then that's going to lead us to where we got to go. All right? And all things that are the works of thy hand. Deliver me. You listen to what he's saying. Deliver me from the hands of evil spirits. This is in this is in Abraham day. Y'all hear this? Mm -hmm. But you don't never ask for this, because guess what? You gotta unthink the what you give off, how you think, how you act, the action that you produce is because of a spirit. I, it, it was it, this was in my I was laying down. You hear me? Before I even got up. Y'all was dealing with me on great peace have they that what? And nothing what? Nothing shall offend them. Then he took me to another brief saying in the book. He said, be offended by nothing. Y'all hear this? Because something spiritually then, when you become offended, something spiritually is going to be off. Y'all hear me? If you know the laws for reproving, rebuking, instructing, and correcting, right? Then you know that you got to, you got to find peace. I just you know any correction that I get, I, I take joy in it. 
Know why? Because then I look at what 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 was the what did y'all do with me? He saved my feet from the fire. He kept me from. Does it make sense? That's right. So look what Abraham asking. Deliver me. What are you trying to say? Save my feet, right? Deliver me from the hands of evil spirits who have swayed over the thoughts of men's hearts. I said, wow. Because I was just inquiring about this when I was driving home yesterday. I said, look at this. This ain't no new thing, Vest. Satan is always born to overtake your thoughts. Here recently, it's like this last two weeks, it's been like my, my thoughts been getting bombarded. And I say, I'm going to go sit down and deliver it. Number one, so I can start with the vessel. Housekeeping, right? Then I'm going in warfare to have my vessel sealed up, you know what I mean? And strengthen the hedge that's around me. See, why would Abraham, if Abraham, right? Was he the father of faith? But look, yeah, he asking so he can be kept. You see this? You can't never be so sure that you're in the way. See, that's what happened. We in the way. We so sure that we ain't, can't nothing happen to us. Right? <clears throat> All right. So look what he says. And let and let them not lead me astray from thee, my Elohim. And establish thou me and my seed forever, that we go not astray from henceforth and forevermore. You hear this? Y'all hear that? So this is what I'm trying to do. The more I'm trying to show you the ways that I see. So that you see them. If you can see them. All right. And he said, I shall return unto Ur of the Chaldees who seek my face that I may return to them. Or am I to remain here in this place? The right path before thee prosper it in the hands of thy servant that he may fulfill it and that I may not walk in the deceitfulness of my heart, O my Yah. And he made an end of speaking and praying, and behold, the word of Yahweh was sent to him through me, saying, Get thee up from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy house of thy father unto a land which I shall show thee, and I shall make thee a great and numerous nation. All right, so you see that? So that didn't just happen. First, he was sitting inquiring of Yah. And then what Yah already have for you, Yah can reveal it to you in the time that you inquire. Does that make sense? All right. So now, we're going to end this portion of it, and then we're going to get into the other part of seeing. You know what I mean? I just want to point that out so we have an understanding. All right, so we're going to read Psalms 78, 1 through 8. Let's go, Demore. Read that. Read it loud. Say it with your chest. Let's go. My people, give ear to my Torah. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I open my mouth in a parable. I utter riddles of old, which we have heard and known, for our fathers have related them to us. We do not hide from them, from their children. We do not hide them from our children. Relating to the generation, to come the praises of Yahweh and his strength and his wonders, which he has done. For he has raised a witness in Yaakov and set a Torah in Israel, which he commanded our fathers to, to teach them to their children, that it might be known to a generation to come. To children who would be born, to rise up and relate them to their children. 
-hmm. and place their trust in Elohim and not forget the works of El. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. That they not forget the works of El. Come on. But watch over his commands. You got that? Let's stop. Let's go ahead and stop. So that was to verse 7. So the whole purpose was that they don't forget the works of El. Well, then how you going to know what it is if you don't, we ain't never tell you what the works of El is. See, this is what we've been teaching the whole time is what do Yahweh do? Well, guess what? I keep asking. Have you seen Pastor Dow lay hands? Have you seen the elders? Have you seen brothers and sisters laying hands? Have you seen me lay hands? Have you seen his works? Are you able to look out? And see his works in nature, in his creation. As I was talking about the other day. You see the sun, you see his work. Right? All right, so we're going to end uh, this portion. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Shalom, shalom.